I'm joined by Kylie Lulawai, one of the three legends that are bowing out of the game. Kylie, that's the best way to bow, isn't it? Yeah, you couldn't couldn't finish any better. Um, you only know, dream with those kind of things when you when you you know when I was eight years old. Um, I always wanted to win something, a grand final back in Australia. Uh, but to get to get to do it uh, six times over here, especially on my last game, uh, it's been yeah, it's been very special. You've had a really long and illustrious career at the Rhinos. How? How good was yesterday's game in terms of the intensity and how satisfying was it to beat Wigan in that manner? Yeah, you couldn't beat a better team. Wigan, they've always been um, a team of ours that we've had, we've had um, good battles with over, the, over my nine years. Um, two points, winning by two points. And so it's such an intense um, atmosphere as in um, El Trafford. Uh, just grateful that we were on the, the right side of the, of the scoreline. And to finish like that, yeah, you couldn't get any better. Is there any mixed emotions from you with it being your last game? No, I probably, you know, because normality is, for me, the last 20 years is going to train with the boys, preparing for your game, recovering from your game, you know, then preparing again uh, for the next for the next game, the week after. <clears throat> it would be different not doing that, you know, doing the same old uh, routine. Um, but in saying that, my body will feel much, much better, <laughs> you know, especially in the weekends. And how brilliant is it to be here at the First Direct Arena with so many loyal fans coming and celebrating yours, JP's and Kev's careers? Yeah, it's strange. <laughs> you know, because we've had about our third farewell. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, obviously that comes on the back of the team's success. If we'd have uh, bowed out, been not making the playoffs or anything, um, I think things would have been much different.